we do need to get ready to suffer for Christ. Mm -hmm. Um, Bill C4 is coming our way. Nothing stays in Canada. It just, it, it doesn't. So and church, let's tell, tell us really quickly, what is Bill C4? Bill C4 is, it's billed as a quote unquote, anti-conversion therapy. Which already, um, we, you know, we already have those in the United States, but yes. all those bills that now turn to local laws right. are only right. laws, not criminal Right. But laws just to do with maybe like business fraud, so you could be fined, or you could maybe have your license taken away as a therapist, et cetera. But not and if I can criminal. just jump in here, I mean, Christopher and I have been critical of conversion therapy as a theology. In other right. words, we've been I am critical too. I am too. Of like a church that doesn't believe it's competent to counsel and it farms off its people mm -hmm. to a parachurch ministry. So we've been we have been in the past. Um, critical of that move, but we have never been supportive of bans on any kind of therapy. Yeah, if say if, if someone is you know needs help with their right. struggle, like yeah, they should be allowed to get that. Absolutely, help. but yeah. to, to elevate it to a to a to a doctrinal statement, sort of like what we're doing right now today with vaccines and mask mandates, right? If you're a church and you haven't written vaccines and mask mandates into your Apostles' Creed, well, obviously you don't love your neighbor. Just you know, read David French in the Atlantic this week and you can, you know, <laughs> learn that one, you idiot Rosaria, you know, but, um, but yeah, so, I mean, I think we're doing the same thing now, but it, but it basically it is a, um, even the way it's written is so, you know, like you read it and you're like, is this George Orwell? It seems a little too contemporary. Oh know? yeah. No, um, it's very Orwell. -y. Yeah. The, the enactment amends the criminal code among other things to create the following offenses, a causing another person to undergo conversion therapy, B doing anything for the purpose of removing a child from Canada with the intention that the child undergo conversion therapy outside of Canada, C promoting or advertising conversion therapy, um, and D, receiving financial or other material benefits from the provision of conversion therapy. Whereas conversion therapy causes harm to society because among other things, it is based on and propagates myths and stereotypes about sexual orientation. Well, there's a mouthful. Yes. Gender identity and gender expression, including the myth that heterosexuality cis gender gender identity i kid you not it's written right in here i know i read gender that gender expression that conforms to the sex assigned to a person at birth are to be preferred can you imagine that one over all other sexual orientations gender identities and gender expressions and whereas in light of those harms it is important to discourage and denounce the provision of conversion therapy in order to protect the human dignity and equality of Canadians. And then there is a clause, though, that lets everyone not worry. Don't worry. It doesn't go the other way. Um, if you promote transgenderism, you will not fall under this clause. The only right. kind of conversion that might be damaging for you is the conversion that is called reality. God or the yeah, male. the conversion from homosexuality to heterosexuality is the only thing that's banned. Well, or or yeah. the conversion from thinking I'm a man to thinking right. I'm a woman. Because in that book I held up, there was a recommendation that you take a little online test to see how you're doing gender-wise. Um, guys, I didn't do so well. <laughs> I, my brain I could, I could, well just I'm going to tell you I'm going to go out myself my brain is 58% male and 42% female according to this very legitimate google quiz I went back to see how what I flunked and it, it included things like that I like beagles more than chihuahuas that is <laughs> So it's it's very scientific. Obviously, Don't you're amazing. argue with the science there, Beckett Cook. That is hilarious. Well, but the, but but the thing so in hilarious. Canada is really serious. I've already talked to Canadian pastors. It is very, very serious. And so, you know, church, are you ready to suffer, to preach the gospel, to proclaim the truth, to live in obedience, 
to love one another well, to share what you have? Or do you feel like you just need to write for the Atlantic and USA Today and just, you know, air all the grievances of the church that doesn't think that, you know, vaccines are an Apostles Creed worthy statement? I mean, right. You're going to pick. You're going to pick. 